What's up guys, Behringer here, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing video. This time, we've got the Theros event deck, Inspiring Heroics. And yes, I know the plastic's off. I took it off just before I hit record here to see if it would help the glare, but it's not exactly helping. Um, these event decks, anybody who doesn't know, they're um, a uh, 60 card uh, pre-made deck with a 15 card sideboard. Supposedly tournament ready. Some are really good. Oh, now with 10 rares also. Some are really good. Some are complete shit. But this one actually is really cool. Um, first off, in the box, you're going to have... Well, first of all, they give you a great box. Uh, and it has a divider, too. Okay. So, if you if you use this box, you've got a divider here. You can, put, you can actually put cards you hate... On the, on the top portion and then divide that with cards you really hate on this bottom section um, and you just put it in there close it up guaranteed to destroy them um, but also it's uh, it comes with your life counter this is a if I can find it has your Thero symbol on it a white life counter and you of course have some spam from wizards and uh, you have your 60 card main deck and your 15 card sideboard. Now, this is probably, we'll open this up here. This is probably, um, and of course it doesn't want to open. This is probably the best event deck I've opened so far as far as just plain fun to play, honestly. Um, if I played blue, that is, and I don't. But um, your main deck, it's going to have um, a lot of heroic creatures. This is just a common card. But it's going to have a lot of heroic creatures in it. Um, it's going to have some with the bestow ability, like you just saw. Um, it has really, this, card has a lot of real, or this deck has a lot of really good cards. First of all, you got Soldier of the Pantheon. Um, this will focus here. This is a really good rare. Doo -doo -doo. Technical difficulties. Yeah, so my uh, one of my hard drives crashed, <laughs> and I had to um, basically reinstall everything, and my settings are still not back to, uh, 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 there we go, dear God. Um, this is a really good card, um, in my other Theros unboxes I talked about it, in fact I talked about it quite a bit. This is a really good card, especially with the onset of cons, there's going to be a lot of multicolored stuff happening um really good cards that they included in there um i'm gonna find some other key cards here but yeah i had the uh the samsung 840 evo uh, one terabyte and apparently there's a known issue with that hard drive where um it locks up and you can't unlock it. Everything's on. Everything on there is just lost. And there's a firmware update to fix it, but unless, but once it's locked up, it's too late to update the firmware. And the only time someone's gonna go searching for, the, you know, the firmware is when they have the problem where it locks up. So basically, I was fucked. Um, then we got imposing sovereign here. We got two of them. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that card. <clears throat> we got Precinct Captain, another rare here. Two mana. First strike, whenever Precinct Captain deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one -one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield. Uh, this is actually pretty good. 2-2 two, two for 2 with first strike is good, plus that ability. That's pretty damn good, actually. Um, oh, there's also detention. There's actually detention spheres. I think there's two detention spheres in here. So this card, I mean, there's some heroic stuff. There's a lot of good creatures, a lot of good enchantments. There's a lot of good removal. I think there's two detention spheres. Yeah, there is. Here's the other one. Um, a lot of good, a lot of good uh, uncommons. There's banisher priests in there. It's just a fun, a fun blue-white deck to play. It's just fun, and in the sideboard, which we'll get you to in a minute, um, 
is actually a legit sideboard that actually has you know removal and stuff like that in it. So that's pretty cool. Frontline medic, another three three for three with battalion. Whenever frontline medic and at least two other creatures attack, creatures you control are indestructible this turn. And you can sacrifice them to counter target spell with X and its mana cost, unless it's controller page three. So once again, a three three for three with special abilities. Pretty damn good. <clears throat> and we got our Banisher Priest here. It's a good uncommon card. Even if you don't have it in your main deck, it's always good to have this in your sideboard. If you have white in your deck. And you get a couple of them. That's pretty cool. Another good card, Fabled Hero. It's three mana. Human Soldier. Double Strike, 2-2, two, two, Heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Fabled Hero, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fabled Hero. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so that, that hard drive, yeah. They were sending me a new one, which is cool, but everything on the one I had is lost, so I had to... You know, basically reinstall everything. I got a new hard drive, but reinstall everything, redo everything. All my recording settings are messed up. All my rendering, all my settings are going to be screwed up. I already know. So this is kind of the reason I was opening this deck first was to make sure everything worked right, to be honest. Even though this deck is awesome. Now, this, <clears throat> this rare is um, Lavinia of the 10th. Five mana, four, four. Excuse me, protection from red. When Lavinia of the Tenth enters the battlefield, detain each non-land permanent your opponent controls with converted mana cost of four or less. Until your next turn, these permanents can't attack or block, and their activated abilities can't be activated. Boom. Excuse me. And we got some guild gates. I'm trying to, usually all the rares are on top, but I mean on these event decks, but on this one I'm having to kind of search through it to find them. Uh, there's also a hollowed fountain in here. Um, you can tap it to add water blue dream mana pool. As hollowed fountain enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, hollowed fountain enters the battlefield tapped. What other cool cards are in here? A bunch of basic lands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some commons. Some pacifism. Some uncommons. We went through a lot of rares. That might be all the rares, actually. Some guild gates in there. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Um... Basically, you know, the theme of the deck is just use creatures and enchantments to beat your opponent. I mean, there is, of course, you know, removal and stuff like that in there, but the typical OP blue shit. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward deck. It's pretty fun to play. Um, but our sideboard is going to have, you know, some glare of heresies, some removal against white. Gain say or removal against blue, negate, you know, some counter spell action, some arrest, some anti creature stuff, solemn offering, anti artifact, anti enchantment. You know, so it's a good sideboard that has a lot of removal. I mean, it's kind of what I do too. I mean, it's obviously removal against certain colors is stronger than removal against. You know everything, so but it's kind of you know because it costs less mana. So if you know you're playing a guy who likes to spam a certain color, I mean you can kind of tailor your deck. It's kind of how I have my sideboard too, and that's how this sideboard is. That's why I thought it was cool. But uh, but yeah, that's been the uh, Magic the Gathering Theros event deck, inspiring heroics. I kind of showed you a few highlights from there. I hope this video works. Uh, if it does, I'm gonna record some other stuff but um, I want to make sure everything was working before I open something really awesome not that this deck isn't awesome but if this video doesn't work I can buy me one of these for like 20 bucks um, as opposed to the other stuff is a little bit more expensive so uh, 
But yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next video.